June 28, 2011, I was diagnosed with a rare form of eye cancer called choroidal melanoma. This affects six out of every million people and is usually found in the older population. I was 29. I had laser eye surgery four years ago and could see perfectly until last March. That's when I started to notice a wave in my vision. I would read and the words seemed to move. When I would drive even a short distance, I would become exhausted trying to follow a road that now seemed to wind. Faces were distorted as I could only see half of them, the other half gray. This was heartbreaking, especially when I would look at my kids. I made an appointment in late March with the surgeon that did my laser surgery, thinking my vision was diminishing. When I was seen three months later, he immediately booked me an appointment for a retina specialist the next morning. That's when I started to worry. That's when I first heard the word tumor. I was shown a picture of a normal eye and then mine with this gray mass in it. I excused myself to the washroom and broke down. How can I have cancer? I'm 29. I don't smoke or drink. I work out almost every day. I get enough sleep. I didn't understand. You hear those words, you have cancer, and without any real knowledge, you feel like this is it. I'm done. Later, I was given three options. One, laser where I would wake up blind immediately following surgery. Two, plaque therapy where my eye would be removed and a gold plate with radiation seeds would be sewn in and left for five to seven days to kill the cancer cells. The third was a nucleation. Remove my eye, remove the cancer. I was also given an appointment with Dr. Wise, learning he was knowledgeable about the newest technology. I hoped he would help me decide. The next three weeks were the most difficult for me. There was literally no out of sight, out of mind. Everything was always blurred. Even when I thought I would get some peace at night, I would close my eyes and see floaters. I cried myself to sleep every night for those three weeks. On July 18th, I met with Dr. Wise, who told me the plaque therapy would be the most successful. Only thing was, the program he was trying to set up in Edmonton wasn't ready yet and didn't think I should wait. That meant I would have to go to Philadelphia or Toronto for this surgery. So my boyfriend and I went to Toronto for testing and hopefully approval. It was an unexpected expense taking the time off work and the cost of the hotel. We were unfamiliar with our surroundings. It was added stress to an already stressful situation. I left with my appointment booked, but soon after, I found out Dr. Wise would have his program running and could perform my surgery at the Cross Cancer Institute on October 31st. Eight days after that, I went home. Having this program here means the world to me. Not only has it helped us emotionally, but financially as well. To have the support from my friends and family during radiation and after my surgeries made this so much easier. For my children to visit me throughout that week, not only gave them comfort seeing that mommy was okay and that she was going to be okay, it helped me immensely having them close by. And who wants to be thinking of the expenses for travel out of province for follow-up appointments? I am so thankful to the Alberta Cancer Foundation donors for giving me this gift that allowed me to focus on healing. How do you say thank you to those who are trying to ensure you live a long, happy life? I don't have the right words to express my gratitude to the Alberta Cancer Foundation donors who funded this program, to Dr. Wise and his staff, and everyone I've come in contact with at the Cross Cancer Institute in Edmonton. Everyone was so kind and compassionate. That kind of care is immeasurable. I am blessed to be one of the first people to benefit from this program. I owe them everything.